aging Dr. Ben. <laughs> it's been a long day at the office. Dr. Ben is just yelling, you're wrong, at caps. All right, but here's my larger... Sir, your mother's a tracer! Can I explain the audience principle to you? If you insult and accost him, then we have no audience. He started... <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Look at all these cool cats. We've got an audience today. Uh, so what I want to talk about today, I, want, I, I saw a number of people discussing... Uh, well, I'm, I'll show you. There's a... How do I even get this? Is that it? Yeah, I think this is... I can just use my phone. Doing this. I'll put the picture on the screen... The Joker, the Joker is pregnant. <laughs> and uh, I immediately thought of another comic for some reason because the Joker becomes pregnant with a baby and they're calling it a mud monster, which I'm not sure what that means. A mud monster baby? I don't know. But it immediately made me think of another comic which came out two years ago. Simon Hanselman's Crisis Zone. I got I got the collection here, but I followed it along. It's one of the things that kept me kept me uh, smiling all through 2020. Hey, and also I want to show off my I gotta, yeah, check that out. Pizza branded sweatshirts. That's right, coming to you soon from Thick Comics and your good pal here, Doctor Ben. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to flip this thing around because I want to get a good video of it rather than trying to like hold up the, you know what I'm saying? Like I hate when people, you guys can see what I'm doing here. I hate when people are all doing all that shit. Fuck that. We're going to go professional here. We're going to use the overhead something and put the videos all together. Uh, yeah. So we're going to put it together right now, I guess is what we're going to do. Yeah. So again, this is, uh, Crisis Zone by by Simon Hanselman. The uh, the collection, the daily comic from two thousand and twenty. Uh, but it immediately seeing the Joker being pregnant immediately. And look, I've I'm so considerate to the the censors on YouTube. I have uh, covered up the. Well, first of all, I'll show you that the Mog Mog the cat. He had been. Uh, imprisoned at some point and also we'll skip down so you can just see that he was also uh they torched his face is one of the things that happened to him i don't know which day this was from because i don't know this isn't that kind of review show is letting him out this is getting too crazy no he he needs to suffer don't let him out meg chill the fuck out Mog, you're, you're free, but stay the fuck out of my way. No, no. <laughs> Come on, Meg, it'll be okay. Let's let's find your switch and a blanket. Whoa. Oh, fuck. What, what now? Looks like you're a father, Mog. Ex-anus queen gives birth to a litter of kittens. After the cancellation of her hit TV show following the blackface incident on... Parents. <laughs> That's Mog after his face is burned. His, all the fur was burned off his face. Want to come over and see too? You can come and see. I think I don't think she wants to see because I think this part scared her. My own cat. Uh, what the fuck? Holy shit! What? But 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 we only ever did anal. How? They look like you, dude. Oh, fuck. Butt babies? Shit kittens? You better watch yourself or I'll fucking stomp you. <laughs> I guess actually there might be... Well, I can't close it now because I use these things on here to uh, to cover up the 
the nudities. So, and like I said, I, comparing this with uh, with the Joker becoming pregnant and and having a, a mud monster baby, which he then adopts. Which why would he have to adopt it if it was his own? baby that doesn't make sense we would think that if he if it if he gave birth to it that would be his own child so confusing so confusing but I, my point here is that dc comics is showing that they're still behind the times they're two years behind uh or simon hanselman in fact is two years ahead of dc comics is what my point is here so um like i said congratulations simon uh, for being precog precognitive, seeing into the future, being a fortune teller, maybe, uh, being able to, to see these things before they even happened in the mainstream comics, being able to, to talk about these stories and ideas before, you know, they caught on with the mainstream comics. Very funny, you know, uh, so that's, that's what I got for now. Um, just a short video. And remember, January 28th at Pretty Good Books in Ashtabula, Ohio. Going to have another book signing with Chelsea Banning and friends, including me and all those other people there on the list. I'll have copies of Fake News from Hell, an illustrated discussion of the graphic novel by Alan Moore, where I reveal it's, it's really, it's fake news. From Hell is fake news. Come and get some. And remember, click like, comment, and subscribe to my newsletter on drben.substack.com get your own independent underground comics reject the mainstream losers who make the joker pregnant get more underground comics from me your good pal dr ben